Okay. <clears throat> Hello, one and two Ray fans. This is Rachel. It is Sunday, March 14th. So I'm going to be quick and to the point today as well. As you can see, my Tina Turner in the background, tribute to Tina Turner. Um, I did a video on her um, just the other day. And then this one is going to be another uh, tribute to someone. I'm um, going to share that with you probably within the next couple of days. Um, and this is one that I've posted on my Facebook page and Instagram page and Pinterest page. Um, this is Nina Simone. If you haven't ever heard of her, you need to check her out. N-I-N-A-S-I-M-O-N-E, Nina Simone. And when you hear some of the songs that she sings, you'll probably recognize them. They've used a lot of her songs on commercials and different things for different products. Anyway, I put a little music note around her. And uh, my interpretation, again, was to show her face as she is looking um, at someone, perhaps on stage or in a crowd. Um, this was, um, I was watching her. As I was uh, watching her, I noticed a certain look of her as she was starting to sing a song. She was relaying at the moment about how she had lost a close friend and um, she was basically grieving her loss or his loss at the time while she was doing this, this concert. And the look on her face um, at the time as she started to sing, she was almost right at that point where she was on the verge of tears. And um, basically, it was such a strong and emotional look on her face that to me enveloped a lot of what she went through in her personal life. And I wanted to, to um, draw her with that look. And she, she's starting to sing, but she's holding a lot back, you can tell. Um, and then she goes to look at someone in the crowd as she starts to sing. And I thought, okay, that's great. Because the lighting of that, that view of her, there was a dark shadow of the, the lighting was perfect. It showed one side of her face was very dark. In the shadows of her eye and her nose, as you can see, on this side, that shadow coming through. And then this side shows her, her true, like true emotion at the time. And I liked how it looked for her at that moment. And as an artist, I wanted to portray her starting to sing. And like I said, trying to hold back um, and deal with a lot of those inner feelings and emotions. And I don't know if, uh, you've ever experienced a very difficult time in your life where um, it seemed almost unbearable. And that's kind of the look to me that she had at that moment. And it really um, spoke to me, you know, um, not just her singing, but her expression. And uh, so basically, in a nutshell, what I wanted to share was about this uh, uh, drawing and what it means to me. Um, and I'm going to continue to work on this. This is not completed. Um, there's more to this story um, in my interpretation of her. Um, but the method that she used to express herself was in her lyrics and the songs and the way she sang them. The tone that she used in her voice, she used every single part of her, her facial expressions, everything to express her thoughts, her feelings at that moment in that time frame. And that to me is a true artist, that they're able to do that. And it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of practice, and it takes a lot of frustration. Um, sometimes you're going to go through grief. Sometimes you're going to go through a lot of challenging, difficult, emotional moments in your life. And you have to work through it work through it because there's other people out there that are feeling that or have been through it and they can give you the strength that you need. They can help you in some way, shape or form, maybe that somebody else couldn't 
to express yourself, to share your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, or just basically how to cope with them or how to work through them or move on forward, not necessarily move on, but move forward or keep going. Um, so I like this because that's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of how she coped and what she went through and how she kept going. She kept moving forward and she used her music to express herself. So again, this is Rachel with Whimsy Ray's Artistry. This is a drawing of my artist interpretation of the singer Nina Simone. And again, subscribe to my channel. I have other social media. Uh, like I mentioned, I have uh, Facebook and Pinterest and Instagram. And I usually try to post these videos on there every on a daily basis. I've been trying to get into a habit of doing that. So thank you for watching again. And uh, subscribe so you can see more inspiration. Okay, thanks. Bye.